Yeah, I'm Pawan Tyagi, and uh, I'm a uh, professor in mechanical engineering department. And uh, so this is a, our nanotechnology laboratory, and we do research in nanotechnology here. Yeah. Okay, great. Now you were giving a talk during Maker Fair called Nano Makers, and how nanotechnology can make us superhuman. Yeah, so that is a, actually our overarching theme. So we are uh, seeing in the future and trying to envision what a human will look like and what kind of capabilities are required and how nanotechnology can help in achieving those objectives. Like if you want to make a human superhuman uh, in terms of like a thinking process or their work, like brain work faster than a supercomputer, then what kind of technology will be needed? Mm -hmm. If you want to store like all the knowledge on this earth or like a part of like big chunk of that, uh, then what kind of technology is needed? If you want to make them like living for a long life, uh, like living a long life uh, without getting sick uh, for like several hundred years, what kind of health monitoring system will be required? Mm -hmm. So thinking those challenges, we are trying to use nanotechnology to make devices, materials, which will fulfill uh, those uh, kind of needs. So this is a lab, so you make things here. We're gonna tour the lab in a minute, but you know, you're working at nanoscale, so that means things are, are uh, uh, it's a fabrication lab, but it, for things that are very small. Yeah, so as you said, like it's really we are working with uh, materials which are one, two hundred nanometer in size. And basically we use nanostructures, which are close to three nanometer. And we, you cannot really see them, even with a, like, a very good microscope. And uh, so there are challenges, and uh, that's, we love those challenges, in fact. So we are trying to use our uh, nanofabrication lab to make devices, to engineer the structure in such a way that we can, for sure, make devices out of those nanomaterials and uh, kind of use their uh, best properties to uh, make uh, devices for the like, brain study, for computational, uh, for memory, and for other kind of like, which will be kind of making a superhuman eventually. Okay, well, let's go tour the lab. Okay. Okay, so this is our uh, nanotechnology lab where we try to use nanostructures to make uh, devices. And uh, some of the topics which we are very interested in making brain sensors. So using nanostructures like molecules, nanowires, and making devices out of those. Second main uh, topic for our research is nanoscale devices which utilize molecules as a device element. We are also researching in different type of solar cells. And fourth one is actually, I also do a lot of research in student, uh, how to teach a student uh, in a like exciting manner. But that's kind of like a different topic. Uh, let me uh, give you a tour of the lab. So you know when you are working in the nanotechnology, uh, these things are much smaller than even the dust particle. So to work uh, with them, it required a very specific environment, so we have this class 1000 clean room in that we have our patterning tools. Uh, so there actually you have photolithography machine where we kind of make pattern of whatever device type we want. And eventually using those pattern, we want to uh, add material into those pattern. So in order to add those pattern actually on my uh, left uh, right side you see there are uh, multiple machines. La uh, last one is a big sputtering machine. So that is actually, that can give you deposition at the angstrom level. So you can add atom by atom layers and uh, you can uh, make a structure which you want. The next one is thermal evaporator, which can really the, uh, heat up a material, make it a vapor, and uh, you can deposit it anywhere, wherever you want to. So this is a lithography process, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so explain that. Okay, so lithography process is a, really it's kind of making a mold. So in order to make a mold for the uh, like micro nano structures, what you do, you start with a uh, flat surface, uh, flat substrate. On the top of that, you add a polymer. It is a light sensitive polymer. And on that, uh, after uh, uh, spinning that, you make a very thin layer and you heat it up so that it get little hardened. On the top of that, you put a glass uh, mask. So I can even show you. So you can see this is a photo mask which has like millions of pattern which you may not see like in the one centimeter by one centimeter they are very tiny patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, so we try to transfer those pattern on the, the on the substrate. yeah over yeah. the substrate where we have the photo just coated. Right. So light goes through this mask 
weaken those area on the photo just where the light fall and you can selectively remove those uh, that weakened part and then it will leave the cavities uh, wherever you can where you can deposit this material using this putting machine and and this will give you this devices yeah so you can see these are the silverish pattern so they are kind of uh, a result of that uh, patterning and thin film deposition it's a bit like a circuit yeah it's really the circuit yeah yeah. Well, thank you, Dr. Tiagi. It's really great to learn more about nanotechnology and see your lab. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> okay.